Hey guys, and today I'll be showing you how I can post-process a time-lapse on the night sky from something like this into a star trail effect like this using Motion 5. To start, this tutorial already assumes that your time-lapse is in an image sequence form, like the files I have in this folder here. Once you have an image sequence you want to use, the first step is to find its location inside the file browser panel. In my case, I have my image sequence in a folder on my desktop. On default, the image sequence is displayed as a single item, but there's this button on the bottom toolbar here in the file browser that toggles image sequence grouping. So if you click on this button, it stops the grouping of similar images, so you get to actually manipulate each image one by one. So after selecting this mode, what you have to do next is go to Motion, Preferences, and then under this area where it says Default Layer Duration, you want to change the setting to where it says Use Custom Duration, select frames, and then change it to one frames. Then close the preferences window. Then now what we want to do is command A to select all of the images in our folder. And now we want to drag the images into the timeline. And we hold over the area you want to place in the timeline. Instead of selecting composite, we want to select the sequential option. And now we see all the images are imported. And as it stands right now, each image is its own individual frame, so it pretty much looks the same as a time-lapse rendering. But in order to fix this and have all the images layered on top of each other, we want to go to the Properties tab here. And under the Timing tab here, we actually want to select all the images themselves before we do this. Then here where it says Duration, we want to just drag this out so all the layers overlap and make a step-like shape. The final step we want to do is go to Blend Mode here and then we want to press on the Lighten filter. Once the filter is applied to all the images, the star trail effect is complete. Thank you for watching this Motion 5 tutorial. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.